Hey guys, after a long hard working day at my daily job, I finally came home and found this box waiting for me in my room. I knew straight away what it was, but I wasn't sure in what kind of condition it will be. Turns out to be untouched and I've been lucky with the shipping and handling as well. Once at the workbench, I've unscrewed the four screws and top popped right off. The interior seems to be in even better shape. All the parts seem to be original and not even one part has been replaced or modified since it's been assembled. That means that it's time to replace all the electrolytic capacitors and check the other critical components as well. There are several articles online on how to upgrade this audio generator and even a kit for sale on eBay. The point to these upgrades for the most part is to get the noise and distortion levels way down. Before doing any mods I would like to test the unit as is just to make sure that everything is working fine. I will use a step down transformer and plug the US style plug into the receptacle. The unit seems to power up fine. There are no obvious problems with it, but the sine wave doesn't look right and the levels seem to be a bit off. The switches and pots could use a bit of contact cleaner as well. The square wave also works, but I've noticed some problems with it as well. I've removed the back cover and upon inspecting the power transformer wiring, I've noticed that someone had wired the unit for 220 volt operation. Might be that the seller realized I'm in Europe and changed the wiring prior to shipping. Once I've realized the unit is wired for 220 volts, I've cut the US style plug and replaced it with the European counterpart. With proper voltage, everything works almost perfectly. Still, there are several minor issues. I've started following the calibration instructions from the manual. The voltage at the test point is a bit on a low side, which is probably caused by old filter caps. The calibration pots all seem to be working fine and the meter responds well. Now that we know that there are no obvious issues and that everything functions ok, it's time to start with the modifications. First I will replace all the filter caps. I'm using solder wick to remove the old components being very careful not to overheat the traces on the PCB.
I'm replacing these filter caps and the rest of the components with the recommended higher values as per upgrade instructions. I will include the links in the description for the articles which I've used. After about every couple of changes, I've retested the unit to make sure everything is fine. I haven't made all the changes from the articles yet because I'm not going for such a low noise and distortion at this point. I think the only upgrade I've omitted is the meter buffer circuit. I would just need to create a custom PCB since I have all the parts handy. I've added the meter damping diode, resistor and the capacitor to tame down the meter needle when using the lower frequency signals. I've also changed the ground location of the sine wave and square wave probe lugs as per one of the instructions in the manuals. The good thing about these mods is that you can revert the changes at any time. All in all, this audio generator is really useful and really great for my purposes. It's really stable, simple to use and doesn't take much space. It's very flexible and versatile and extremely affordable. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave the comments and questions below. Thanks for watching.